Well, hello there. Thank you for joining me today. Yes, it's Streets of Rage 2 again. Uh, but I'm doing something a little different today. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a tutorial. So that you can last longer in Streets of Rage 2. And why would you want to last longer in Streets of Rage 2? Why? For the pleasure, of course. One of the best beat-em-ups out there. Uh, I played it before. I actually have a challenge still ongoing until December of this year. Uh, because December marks the 20th anniversary of this wonderful game. Uh, I'm going to show you some little tricks and uh, I'm just going to give you a, a little a little look at the game. Maybe you thought this was just a smash the button uh, straightforward beat em up. There is so much more depth in this game than you're giving it credit for if that's what you believe. So let's get into it. We're just going to play uh, normal difficulty. My other playthrough was with Blaze for the uh, high score in the first round. I'm going to show off Max today. I love Max. I need my son Max after this character. Not really. There's an extra life right here. You can chop. You have a little combo that you go through. Just like that. Or you can grab the guy and you can crush his head. That's pretty fun. You can also grab a guy, jump, and power bomb. Or grab him and German suplex them. There's a slide move. Jumping and attacking. There are two air maneuvers you can pull off. There's the elbow drop, which is done by holding down when you jump and attack. There's a bunch of things you can do with Max. He is a versatile character. Head Crush is my favorite. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm sick, but uh, I like the idea that he just uh, grabs somebody's head and, and crushes them. Space. 
verticality, hitting up and down, is the best way to avoid it. points on even small enemies um, and that was the way that I, uh, I did the uh, first level challenge was I chained a lot of combos together oh yeah that was the atomic drop old wrestling maneuver this uh, block. There's a uh, there's a uh, a block glitch. I don't need it. There's a block glitch in this game. Uh, some of the characters that, that block your attacks if you roll rush them uh, while they're blocking you'll take massive amounts of their life away. Pretty handy. Yeah. There's money. Money is good for extra life, so we need money. If you hear motorcycles, uh, there's a few places you can be safe from. Not that one. That guy's just... You gotta know he's coming. I always mistime that one. But the bottom of the screen is, is pretty much the safe place in this one.
this section. Uh, I thought it was right there. There it is, up top. Back by the truck. Like 
that. After every little stage, you get a little bit of life back. So it's okay to be a little injured. At the end, you get you get a little bonus. And there's a crowd, or what I call a timed event. There's a timed event coming up here uh, where you get the timer that goes down a certain amount guys are hanging up in the rigging and they'll jump down. Either that or it's a proximity event. And these guys actually also are a proximity event. You get close and one will jump down. And you just take care of him on, on his own. You don't want to fight them both at the same time. They're, they're way quicker than you. down that far uh, with life. I think there's an apple coming up. And then I've got a couple uh, mid-bosses to deal with. And these guys, i got to say, they're, they're a little tough with Max. Uh, <laughs> section alive you can always get all your life back when you pick up a chicken there's a chicken right there the sword can be your friend in this section uh, except
find this right now. it, he's going to lose almost an entire life bar of health. 